Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this film, I'd like to show you an alternative to putting on a countertop. In this film, I'd like to show you how to put a countertop on a short wall and kind of a pony wall. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, what we have to do with the wall that we uh, see here right now is uh, take out this rectangular cut that we put in there. We're going to go ahead and take that out. So if we go to our... Um, oops. So if we go to our section view, there's going to be section number three in this one. Click on that wall, edit the profile, take our rectangle, and delete it. Now remember we put in some constraints here in regard to that countertop in reference to that rectangle which no longer is there. So we're going to go ahead and remove the constraints and we're going to be okay with that. So now we can take that uh, wall or that countertop and actually move that up a little bit or move it all over the place left or right as desired whereas before it was constrained it wouldn't be able to do that. One way to make that wall a little bit shorter, probably a fairly easy way but it might be a little bit more difficult to try to constrain is to take that wall, the very top of the wall, and use the, the stretch grips and actually move that down a little bit. And we can do that to a very specific height, and that's okay. But uh, another way of doing that is to uh, actually control all the countertops, which is my preference, to control all the countertops with a countertop level. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our east elevation and create a new level. If we click like on our second floor level and go to the control key, maybe pull that down, it'll automatically uh, create that level for us control allows us to copy while we're moving. Now let's go ahead and uh, set our parameters here. We're going to make that wall or level here about three feet. We're going to call that counter. Yeah, that should do it. So let's go back to our, uh, let's go back to our, um, let's go back to our elevation and take a look at that. Or not our elevation, but our camera view. So now you see that the wall is a little bit lower than the countertop. We move the countertop up, move the wall down. And if we look at the, the ground floor and take a look at that, one thing to note here is that uh, the wall, some of the walls are bold and some of the walls aren't. The wall that we moved uh, down a little bit now becomes a less bold line, whereas the bold lines are part of a wall that's being cut. And that's something that's, uh, that's um, you know, something you probably need to understand here. Any, any item that's being cut by the cut plane, except for uh, components like these, is going to have a much bolder line, whereas things that are in the background as you're looking down, uh, like in a plan like this, are going to have a less bold line. So if we go back to that section view and maybe move that wall up a little bit, you can see uh, if we put that above four feet, and I believe if we just stretch it up maybe up here, it probably is uh, above the four feet. Go back to our ground floor plan and you notice that that wall is now bold. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this wall we're actually going to make that go up only to the countertop level. So instead of going up to the second floor, and one thing to note over here is that we do have a top set, a top offset of a minus five feet. You have to keep that in mind. Uh, when we go up to the countertop level, we also want to make this zero, have a zero offset. Otherwise, we're going to get a um, get an error message. So if you go to apply here, it says the top of the wall is over and then base of the wall. If you do something like that, just make sure that this is down to zero before you apply, and then go to apply. So you notice it's now going to go from a, a bold line to back to a bold line. So let's make sure we get that down to the countertop level. You notice it went from a bold line to a less bold line. And lines are even less bolder than outer lines associated with our components down there. So it kind of goes in order of relevance. A cut wall to a wall in the background to uh, components that are back there. And eventually to grayscale items too, which might be uh, items on a different level and for a different video. So let's go to our reception area. Take a look at that. Our reception camera view. Waiting. There we go. I don't know why it was waiting there. Maybe it was doing an automatic save. Countertop's kind of floating above here. Let's do the same thing we did in the previous video. Let's go to our section three. And let's use the alignment tool. Yes, we'll save the project. Click that as our static reference, our movable reference. Lock that into place. Go to our ground floor plan. Let's go ahead and move this out a little bit. We don't necessarily have to unless we want to move our uh, countertop all the way to the edge but uh, since we were able to pick up that point let's go ahead and lock that and just like we did before let's bring this all the way to the edge of this wall and it should give us the ability to lock that here too so again we can move this back and forth we can also put dimensions on it to you know put on those additional parameters in regard to the size of the top of the countertop but let's go to reception view and take a look at that and see what that looks like that doesn't look too bad kind of digging into the file cabinet here but we can go uh, go ahead and fix that or you can go ahead and fix that on your own plan and your own projects on your own time. So thank you for joining me. We'll have other videos.